Hello everyone. In the last lecture, we were discussing about tension member. So we saw what is tension member, examples of tension member, cross sections of uh, tension member, which are commonly used as tension members, and we were discussing about design strength of tension member. Okay, so. we discussed that uh, design strength of tension member depends upon yielding of cross section rupture of critical section and block shear strength okay so the uh, so uh, the first two case that is uh, yielding of cross section and uh, rupture of critical section that we have already discussed okay so in uh, so in this lecture we will discuss about the block shear failure okay so what is block shear failure so if you see the two members two steel members are connected something like this okay here you can see these two members are connected by lap joint by bolted connection then the block shear uh, block shear failure occurs along this dotted line okay so here you can see uh, this is one uh, this uh, let these are two steel members which are connected by bolts here okay and uh, this view here i have drawn okay so if these two members are connected uh, like this way then due to applied load the block shear uh, the block shear failure will occur along this dotted line okay so here what is happening that here we are having two things that is shear another is rupture or tension okay so here the shear failure occurs along this two dotted line okay so the shear failure will occur along this plane okay along this plane and along this plane so these two are shear plane means this planes this planes will fail in shear due to the applied load okay this is also shear plane these two planes are undergoing shear failure okay then this this line which is perpendicular to the direction of the load this is the tension plane okay this is the tension plane means this plane will undergo rupture failure okay so rupture failure failure is happening in this line okay in this plane which is direct uh, which is perpendicular to the direction of load so here we are having two things that is the shear failure and rupture or tension failure so in case of block shear failure one uh, one plane is undergoing shear failure and another plane which is perpendicular to the direction of load that is going uh, undergoing tension or rupture failure okay so if we take the case of angle section okay let let a angle section is connected with a gusseted plate okay okay so here you can see uh, a angle section is connected with a gusset plate so this is the top view of the connection 
ओके सो वन लेग द वर्टिकल लेग इफ यू सी द टॉप व्यू देन द यू कैन सी द वर्टिकल लेग लाइक दिस रेक्टेंगुलर ब्लॉक ओके एंड दिस इज द कनेक्टेड लेग एंड दिस इज द आउटस्टैंडिंग लेग एंड एंड दिस इज द गसेटेड गसेट प्लेट एंड यू कैन सी द कनेक्शन यू कैन सी होल्ड द कनेक्शन ओके सो इफ द इफ द एंगल सेक्शन इज कनेक्टेड विथ द गसेट प्लेट लाइक दिस वे देन ड्यू टू द अप्लाइड लोड द ब्लॉक सेयर फिलर विल अकेर एलंग दिस डटेड लाइन ओके सो दिस इज दिस इज द सीयर प्लेन ओके मीन्स दिस प्लेन विल फेल एंड द सीयर ओके दिस इज द सीयर प्लेन एंड दिस इज द टेंशन प्लेन मीन्स दिस टेंशन प्लेन will undergo failure by rupture okay so here we are having combination of two stresses okay one is shear stress another is tensile stress or rupture stress okay so we are having combination of two stresses means means one combination so the first combination can be yielding of yielding of shear plane yielding of shear plane plus rupture of tension plane okay and another combination is rupture of shear plane then yielding of tension plane as here two phenomena are phenomena are happening that is one is shear and another is rupture so a shear plane also undergo by welding or uh, or rupture and also tension plane also may undergo rupture or by welding okay that means these two planes may fail by welding or rupture okay so that means here one plane if one plane is undergoing uh, if one plane is reaching at the ill stress then another plane is reaching at the ultimate stress okay if in this case you can see in this case if the shear plane is reaching at the ill stress then the tension plane then the tension plane will reach up to ultimate stress okay and in the second combination that if this shear plane is reaching at the ultimate stress then the tension plane will reach up to ill stress okay so according to that by taking these two combinations is code has given two formula to calculate the block shear strength okay so if we take the case of yielding of shear plane means here the shear plane will fail undergo uh, will fail by yielding okay so then the formula will be a v g f y by gamma m not into root 3 okay then take the case of rupture of 
tension plane okay so rupture of tension plane means here the uh, tension plane is reaching at the ultimate stress then the formula will be 0.9 into atn into fu divided by gamma ml okay so this is the first combination okay then take the case of second combination that is rupture of shear plane that means here the shear plane will undergo failure at the ultimate stress okay so the formula will be 0.9 into fvn into fu divided by gamma ml into root 3 okay plus yielding of tension plane means the tension plane will undergo failure at yielding okay means at the yield stress so the formula will be a t g into f 5 divided by gamma m naught okay so these are to formally to calculate the block shear strength okay so this is the t d b 1 that is the uh, first combination to calculate the block shear strength then the second combination is t d b 2 this one okay so to get the value of block shear strength calculate this t d b 1 and t d b 2 okay by taking the combination of uh, uh, by combination of two stresses okay then take the minimum value as the block shear strength okay so here here block shear strength will be will be minimum of td b1 and td b2 okay so first calculate this one then calculate this one okay then take the minimum value as the block shear strength okay so here you can see <coughs> in case of shear the root 3 term comes okay so these are the uh, these are some uh, tricks to remember the formulas okay so uh, in in case of shear always the root 3 term, term will come so if you remember that uh, in case of bolted connection when we were calculating the we are calculating the shear strength shear capacity of bolts then the formula is fub by root 3 nn nb plus ns sb okay so here also the root 3 term was coming ok. So, always remember that in case of shear plane or uh, in case of shear capacity or in case of <coughs> in any case where the shear term is coming then always divide the root 3 as the factor of safety ok in the formula and another thing yield pins always gross section ok gross section or gross area will undergo yield and rupture means always net area will undergo rupture ok. So, according to that here uh, you can see the yielding term is coming. So, here we take the gross area and here the 
and we take this formula that uh, when we were calculating the strength of solid plate that is uh, that is a z into f y divided by gamma m naught that uh, in that case we were taking the gross area ok. So, yielding means always take this formula and rupture means always take that formula that is uh, 0.9 n f u divided by gamma m l ok. So, here you uh, know that f i is the yield stress, f u is the ultimate stress, gamma m naught uh, this is the partial factor of safety for the failure at the yield stress or by yielding and that value is 1.1 and that you can get from table number 5. Then come to gamma m l this is the partial factor of safety for the failure at the ultimate stress that value is 1.25 and here is uh, here also that uh, things are same that is f u gamma m l f i gamma m net ok. Then uh, the new terms are f v z a t n f v n a t z ok. Then f v z ok. So, what is f v z? f v z is the gross area of shear plane ok. So, v stands for shear ok, v stands for shear. So, f v z means gross area of gross area of shear plane. Okay. Then a t then here a t n ok a t n. So, here b stands for shear, g stands for gross, here t stands for tension, n stands for rupture or net ok net ok. So, here a t n means net area of two areas are there one is gross area and net area ok. So, a v z means gross area of shear plane and a t n means net area of tensile plane or tension plane ok. The next next is f v n ok f v n. So, here v stands for c and n, uh, n stands for net. So, here f v n is the net area of net area of c or plane and a t z ok a t z is the gross area of tension plane ok. So, according to that calculate this uh, two stresses by taking two combinations ok. Then take the minimum value as the block shear strength. So, now you can calculate the yielding of gross section then means the strength at which the gross section yields. Then you can calculate the rupture strength at the critical section then you can calculate the block shear strength ok. Then by calculating all this three values then take the minimum value as the design strength tension member ok. And, and these things these things will be clear when we will uh, solve a problem related to design strength of tension member ok. So, in the next lecture we will solve some problem related to design strength of tension member ok. Thank you.